Find the center and radius of the circle. I have the equation x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 10y plus 13 equals 0. Do you notice we have an x squared and a y squared? They do tell me that it is a circle. And my formula, my equation for a circle is x minus h in parentheses squared plus y minus k in parentheses squared equals r squared. I have a binomial squared, which means I must have started with a perfect trinomial. I must have factored a perfect trinomial to get a binomial squared. I need to gather my x's up and make a perfect trinomial. I need to gather my y's up and make a perfect trinomial. Let's get to work. So I will gather my x's first. I will have x squared, use that, plus 4x. I need a number there that's going to make that a perfect trinomial. We'll talk more about that later. Now let's work on our y's. I have y squared, I've used that, minus 10y, and I want to make a perfect trinomial for my y's. And that will equal, I'm going to take this 13 to the other side. In other words, I'm going to subtract 13 from both sides. So I will have a negative 13. Okay, how do we complete the square? For my x's, look at your x to the first, you have 4. You will take 4, divide it by 2, and then you will square it. Well, 4 divided by 2 is 2, squared is 4. To complete this square for the x's, I need to add 4. But, if you add 4 to one side, you have to add 4 to the other side. It's not your birthday. Let's work on completing the square for our y's. I look at my y to the first. I will have negative 10. I will take negative 10, divide it by 2, and then I will square it. Negative 10 divided by 2, that will be negative 5. Squared will be positive 25, but if you add 25 on the left, you have to add 25 on the right. Okay, let's factor x squared plus 4x plus 4. I'm grouping just these three. And that is a perfect square trinomial. x squared plus 4x plus 4 will factor into x plus 2 times x plus 2 which is x plus 2 squared. Now let's group these next three terms, y squared minus 10y plus 25. Let's factor that, and that will be y minus 5 times y minus 5. It's minus because I want to get a negative 10. So that will be y minus 5 in parentheses squared. On the right side, Negative 13 plus 4 plus 25 is 16. And so now I should very easily be able to tell you the center and the radius of this circle. Now that is x plus 2, which is x minus a minus 2, y minus 5. On the right we have 16. If r squared is equal to 16, r must be 4. The center of the circle is negative 2, 5. The radius is 4. Let's try another one. Okay, we need to find the center and the radius of this circle. I do recognize it as being a circle because of the x squared and the positive y squared. So let's gather up our x's. I will have x squared plus 1 half x and leave a space. What number am I going to add to make this a perfect trinomial? I have used up those x's. Good. Let's gather our y's. So that would be a positive y squared plus 2y. And I will add a special number. And that will equal, so I've used the y's up, this positive 1 16th. I'm going to get it out of my way for a second. I will subtract 1 16th from both sides. So on the right side, I will have negative 1 16th. Okay, we have some work to do to complete the square for the x's. 
we have some work to do with some fractions. I take the coefficient of the x, the 1 half, divide it by 2, and I square it. You could think of it like this, 1 half divided by 2, if you would prefer to write it out like that, and then square it, that's okay. Which that is 1 half instead of divide by 2, you're going to multiply by the reciprocal. Don't forget, we got to square that. So we will get 1 fourth squared, and 1 fourth times 1 fourth is 1 sixteenth. We had to do a little bit of work on that one. So I took my fraction, my coefficient of my x, divided it by 2, which is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. I got 1 fourth, and then when I squared it, I got 1 sixteenth. But if you add 1 sixteenth to the left, you need to add 1 sixteenth to the right. Okay, let's keep working on completing these squares. I need to do the same thing for the y's. I look at the y to the first, it has a 2 with it. I take that coefficient, divide it by 2, and then I square it. Well, 2 divided by 2, that will be 1 squared, which is just 1. And of course, if you add 1 to the left, you have to add 1 to the right. Now let's do some factoring. Let's look at just these first three and see if we can factor that. x squared plus 1 half x plus 1 16th. That will factor. That is a perfect trinomial. It will factor into x plus 1 4th squared. 1 16th is perfect of 1 4th times 1 4th. Now let's try to factor our y's. Put my plus here, and that will be y plus 1 squared. And on the right side, I have negative 1 16th plus 1 16th plus 1. That will just be 1. So I do have this equation written to where I can easily see the center of the circle and the radius. The center will be negative 1 4th, negative 1. And the radius, on the right side I have 1. And the square root of 1 is 1. So the radius is 1. 